And I think that the the folks that kind of got me um, really took advantage of that emotional piece for me. These pictures and videos are all it took for Amy Richards to fall in love with this French bulldog. I was looking mostly locally in Kalamazoo and I had come across Hoobly, a credible website breeders use to sell puppies. One she started to look through to find one of her own, finding a post for French bulldogs right in Kalamazoo. I, I texted that I was interested. Um, didn't hear back for a couple days and then got a text um, from the person that said, you know, I don't have uh, any puppies left, but please email my son-in-law. Um, he has two pups left in the litter. Richard says she crafted a long email to him about her interest and qualifications. The man on the other end responding right away with pictures, videos and information on the pup. I was like, yes, I'm, I'm very interested. When can I come see the dog? And that's when he was like, oh, I'm actually I'm not in Michigan. Michigan. I'm in Southern California. The man offering shipping, something Richards really didn't know much about. She says she asked questions and did her homework. Everything he was saying checked out. Transferred initial deposit and funds to him. Um, you know, he said part of that is a deposit. When the dog is delivered, you will receive that money returned to you. Then there was shipping and handling fees, a weight problem with the crate and pet insurance, all added costs on top of the dog's price tag. At one point, Point, they even Venmoed me back $500 in good faith to say, you know, we're trying to, you know, really make this happen. And we're sorry about the, you know, the trouble we're having. By the third problem, Richard says she started looking more into it. The address for the shipping company led her to a home on the east side of the state. And the pet insurance company told her they didn't issue insurance the way she had been told. That's when she knew she got scammed. I lost probably a little over $4,000 by the time it was all said and done. Richards cut off contact, reported him to the police, and contacted the Better Business Bureau of West Michigan. The BBB saying they receive hundreds of reports of puppy scams, and it remains one of the most common in Michigan. Their biggest advice is to always see the dog in person. Just like the shelters, any good breeder is always going to want you to meet that animal first in person to make sure that you're a good fit for that animal um, as well, vice versa, make sure that animal's a good fit for you. The BBB is saying on average, people lose around four to $5,000 in puppy scams, sometimes even in upwards of $10,000. I just, you know, wrote down all the information I had with emails and text messages and phone numbers and I'm um, really just trying to be proactive to help keep this from happening to someone else. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. It's tough. You put videos of puppies in front of people. It's, it's it looks tempting. so real. And yeah, you're tugging with their heartstrings right off the bat. No 